let's be honest. Even though we say we wouldn't, if we were Affleck's character and we were married to this person, we'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> May not, or we, it'll definitely consider it. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Hi, everyone. It's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy. We're going to raise enough corn, Grant. This is the last review of the night because I'm tired. We'll do the last review from tonight, tomorrow. Cool? Cool. Alright, um, but today we were talking about a movie on Raising the Popcorn with Grant, because movies and TV is what we do here, and today we were talking about the latest cast-off from the Fox Library to make its way to streaming, and that film is Deep Water. Um, Deep Water is directed by Adrian Lin, this is his first film. Um, he's the erotic thriller du jour kind of king. Of the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, he has not made a movie in 20 years. His last film was the, I think, quite good uh, 2002 erotic thriller, uh, Unfaithful. This is his first film in 20 years. What's it about? It's also based on a novel by Patricia Highsmith, who also wrote the book that inspired The Talented Mr. Ripley, which is a terrific film, if you have not seen it. Um, starring Matt Damon. And what's the plot? Well, Ben Affleck. And Ana de Armas play uh, Vic and Melinda Van a Van Allen. I think it's Van Allen. Um, they are a couple with a young daughter. Um, they're living in suburbia. They're quite affluent. Um, but their relationship ha faces a very is a very strange one. Um, their uh, Melinda Ana de Armas' character is allowed to take various um, romantic partners. Essentially, as a way to keep their marriage interesting, she's basically unfaithful. Uh, she is committing multiple infidelities, and he's seemingly kind of aware of it. But, um, to kind of... he's He makes sort of a game of it, sort of egging the characters on, uh, the potential male um, subjects on, that, oh, well, um, one of them, one of her lovers who went missing, he's like, oh, I killed him. Uh, just a joke... When his body turns up, a lot of suspicion falls on him. Um, and then suspicion further goes on him when her latest uh, sort of boy toy, played by Jacob Ellerty, um, comes up from the pool and is very, very dead. And uh, soon uh, it becomes a... We realize that uh, Ben Affleck, I don't think this is a big spoiler because it's very prominently a part of the plot, is kind of a, is more jealous than he seems of this uh, arrangement and has in fact been um, committing some horrible atrocities, which weirdly enough might actually make Anna de Armas' character want him more. Creepy. Will their love story survive and should it? Uh, let the sexy times and thrills begin. So, and can be fun. So, here's the thing about Deepwater. Um, this film, I think, was at one point poised to be sort of an, an awards contender. The film was supposed to come out, I think, like, fall of 2020, but of course that didn't happen because of the pandemic. There was a lot of publicity around it because Ana de Armas and Ben Affleck became a couple briefly while filming. Um, they've been trying to get this film off the ground for a while. It was going to come out um, by Fox, but Disney didn't have a lot of faith in it, so they moved it to um, initially a January release of this year to be theatrical, and then at the very last second they pulled it from the release schedule and about a week later announced it was going straight to Hulu in March. They really did not care about this movie. And here's the thing. The fact that this is considered award-worthy at all is a little silly to me. Ben Affleck and Andy Armas are terrific actors. You also got some great support from people like Finn Whitrock and... Um, even Jacob Alardi, who I know criticized in the past, but since seeing like the Mortuary Collection and stuff, my opinion of him has grown somewhat. It didn't help that my first movie where he really had a showcase was Two Hearts, or as I call it, Two Heartless, um, which I hated. Um, and also like Tracy Letts and stuff, but this was never meant... I, I really doubt that this was meant to be a big deal. Because this is trash. But it's great trash. Um, I definitely was never bored with Deep Water. I had a smile on my face the entire time. This is a perfect movie. If you want to watch this, a trashy erotic thriller, um, psychological horror thriller, on, at home, on streaming, 
Deep Water is that movie. And what I liked about it is, it just... No one seems to be taking it that seriously. And mind you, Affleck and Diarmas are are too good on the acting level to not give it their all. Like, they're giving good performances. It's just that they're... It's, the movie is not worthy of it. What I thought was kind of fascinating is this sort of game between these kind of domesticated types where in the public forum among these kind of hoity-toity friends, they are like the perfect couple. But then behind closed doors, like... They can barely get through a dinner together without making very, very dark, uh, passive-aggressive remarks and sort of underhanded, um, sort of moderate threats. It was kind of effective at showing sort of the decay. It almost makes... Now, it's not nearly as good as this film, do not get me wrong, but it almost makes a perfect double bill with Gone Girl in the sense that Gone Girl is a better film, considerably. Gone Girl is one of my favorite films of the 2010s, but there's a certain level of, like... And even shades of, like, Highsmith's previous work, Talented Mr. Ripley, where there is, like, this element of... I don't know. Um, I did really enjoy myself. Um, I thought it was a fun time. Was it substantial? No. Was it kind of sexy? Yeah, a little bit. Let's be real. Anna Diarmas is a beautiful woman. And, uh... I'm a guy. <laughs> to be honest with you... It was nice seeing Anna de Armas in this kind of movie. That's what I'll say about it. Um, because she's a very beautiful woman. Um, and a very good actress. Uh, so, overall, good time. Let's close the book. You know what? I'll give Deepwater a matinee rating. I'll give Deepwater three and a half out of five stars. It's not perfect, but it didn't really deserve to be cast off like this. This was a perfectly fun kind of beach read trash thriller that is a good night in kind of movie. I think Hulu might have been the right spot for it. I think that's the one shrewd decision that worked. It is funny that I don't think either of them are promoting this movie at all because, understandable, they're broken up since then. It's taken so long to come out that their brief relationship kind of ended, so they probably don't want to be associated with the film anymore. Um, but it's better than that. I, I enjoyed it fine. Um, all right. Three and a half stars. Trailer Trash None. Uh, watch on Hulu. Was there shawarma? Yes, there was. During the credits, there's a pretty, actually a weirdly kind of adorable scene with their uh, young daughter, who is actually very likable in the movie. Uh, very cute. We're sitting around for her. A nice little capper. Also, there's a song selection at the end of the credits that uh, adds an eerie kind of denouement onto the film. It's kind of funny. Um, there is elements of dark comedy here. Um... Alright, three and a half stars. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we'll be back with no more, ro or more than robots, rather, tomorrow. More to come, and uh, that'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grant, the movie and TV guy. I see it all, and I'm happy to share it with you. And I want to ask you, what did you think of Deep Water? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you think my opinions were good? Do you think I was full of crap? Comment below, let me know. And, um, and uh, I love you all, I appreciate you all. Love you, I love you a thousand. Be kind to one another. If you like this video, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does, but that's supposed to do. Or so I've been told. If you want to find me also or reviews this and other fun stuff, you can check me out on Letterboxd.com at Raisin Popcorn with Grant. Some of you already have, but even if you haven't, uh, take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health. It's incredibly important. And until we meet again, we're all Raisin Popcorn. Make mine with extra butter. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care. <laughs>